As soon as both teams are set and ready, we will be off. Off we go. Ooh, a little bit of uh, a little bit of contact there at the center line. Uh, no elbows, no shoulders, but there were definitely some uh, some bumping, a little bit of bumping together there at the midline. The important thing at this juncture, as far as uh, from the referee and from the captains, is just to keep your team focused on the game and keep them focused. Uh, it's grounded. Keep them focused on the game and keep the aggression in check. Uh, a, a major concern at any kind of tournament like this is that the aggression is going to get going to go unchecked, and you're going to end up with someone uh, doing something you know not too awfully intelligent. Ben Murphy taking one to the leg, walking off. And a big back and forth between the two teams right there. Didn't look like much came of it though. Ooh, a spinning backhand for SVSU. Number 11, Jordan Elliott. Uh, surprisingly accurate for a throw that's usually all power and not much aim. Poplinski taking the knee, looking to the ref, the ref calling him out and walking out without really any argument. Uh, SVSU kind of losing track of the shot clock, throwing at the 14 second mark. And a, another one of these famous SVSU counterattacks. Uh, the counterattack doesn't do much, but here on the right hand side, a good throw made another uh, K State out. K State looking mostly just kind of tired, uh, looking like they're ready for this to be over, actually. It's really got to be aggravating in this bracketing system when a team like K-State that doesn't have access to a lot of other teams to play, hasn't really played a whole lot of games, um, gets put up against one of, if not the best team in the league for their first game of the day. Uh, a good solid hit on a SAG player followed by a failed uh, bobbled catch attempt. Number 38, Max Seiler going forward, trying to retrieve a ball, not realizing how close he was to the danger zone and getting hit uh, in the chest, called out by the ref. Good block on, a good block by number one, no? No, number, yeah, number one. I don't have him on my list, unfortunately. Looks like Ben Stein? No, not Ben Stein, Stein, yeah, he's not on here, sorry. Oh, goodness. Wow. Into the crowd. A lot, a lot of the crowd deciding to move after that one. Wow, we. You gotta make all the ball. You can't just tap them. You gotta make all the ball. Oh, okay. Woo, and a cross court throw and an immediate catch. Jordan Elliott, number 11, with a back-to-back -back killing catch. Uh, that is a three-player swing in SVSU's fa uh, favor. Definitely seeing some of the... Oh! No one is safe on the sideline. Right, 17 minutes left. She's good on enough time to go get. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Throw by Saginaw Valley number 17, Jimmy Curtis, caught by number 71 for K State, uh, Alex Seward. Or the defecate. Oh, another catch attempt. A nice diving catch attempt, but he just couldn't make it. A little bit of profanity, and he's off the court. On the back throw by K State. Spencer Dardeen trying to look awesome, failing miserably. Good call. 
Number double zero, Shepard, putting me in critical danger, standing right in front of me. Appreciate that. Okay, he's moved slightly. I feel a little better now. All right, SVSU staying up on the line, not or not looking like they're wanting to fall back. You got shot. Okay, she got shot. Yeah, got right All right. Regular clock. All right. Perfect. Big sideline attack by Shepard, out. Solier makes a throw, number 24 of SVSU, caught by, looks like, double zero. Don't have their number either, sorry. <laughs> Spencer Jardine's still in the game. Of course. Oh. I'm trying to get Felix to join me over here for a little bit. Uh, we'll see if after this. Well, I don't know. K-State definitely need to do some altering to their jerseys. Uh, their numbers are just in uh, white tape, so it's very easy for them to come off. Spencer Jardine sneaking up the right-hand side, going for the sideline kill. Instead, just demolishes someone in the... I that. this team of It's coming right at me. Oh, back-to-back -back massive throws by Spencer Jardini. He's going to be very careful with his arm uh, if he expects it to last for the end of the day or for the rest of the day and again in tomorrow. Looks like both teams now in the 10 second shot clock. Oh! Bad blood definitely starting to show through. Both teams getting very frustrated. Um, oh, I got it. Okay, we can 